So yeah, I kind of overdid it when it came to the gold saucer before. So to help anybody who's playing Final Fantasy XIV, I'm gonna make a guide so you don't overdo it like I did. Those of you familiar with the gold saucer, this is the place to play minigames. This is where you earn MGP, Manderville Gold Saucer Points, which are exchanged for prizes. These here that you've been seeing are some of the small minigames that they have. Small returns, but easy to do. But you guys aren't here for small potatoes. If you're looking for a larger reward, you might consider Chocobo Racing. Now, Chocobo Racing is fun, but you have to be invested in it. You do have to breed your own bird. After several generations and picking the right feed, you can raise the stats up to the point where you're one of the best. Just be sure to pick your abilities wisely and take your time when it comes to most races. You're not going to win every one of them. If you're looking for a game that you can play either against the AI or against friends, this is one of the ones you'd spend some time on. However, if you're looking for more of an immediate reward, something a little more substantial, you might want to participate in some of the gates. Gates are randomized events that take place in the Gold Saucer every 20 minutes. The one you're watching right now is Leap of Faith, a platformer which has you collecting different trophies in order to get more MGP over time. Collecting all of the trophies before making it to the goal nets you 4,000 MGP. You can also play Air Force One. This one's a rail shooter, which has you go along several different tracks in order to shoot targets. Halfway through the track, you stop and do the bonus round. If you shoot everything from the bonus round and along the track, you'll end up with a perfect score of 5,000. This will also net you 4,000 MGP. These two gates are the most complex and pay the most. Cliffhanger, skin change we can believe in and any way the wind blows, can net up to 2,000 to 7,500 MGP. Now the other two games that I'm going to tell you to avoid in the Gold Saucer are Lord of Vermilion and Mahjong. This isn't to say that they can't be fun, but if you're looking to make MGP, they take way too long for the payout. Now you could play Triple Triad. This is the game that came from Final Fantasy VIII. Playing against the NPCs won't net you that much unless you're searching the world map for the ones that you want to play. However, if you have a good deck, I would recommend going to the Dueling Hall. Some of the cards that you get from the NPCs that you duel, as well as some of the dungeons you complete, will give you cards that you can sell back for MGP. This game is not by any means the quickest way to make MGP in the Gold Saucer, but it is something to consider. This all said... There are three games in the Gold Saucer which will make you a mint if you do it right. The first is the Cactpot. Now, you pay a small amount of MGP, and then you can get at least a consolation prize by the end of the week. This game has the lowest odds for you to win, but if you win, you get a lot. Daily, though, you can do a mini Cactpot, just a little scratch-off card. If you match up the right numbers, you get a prize. Usually, you can make at least 10,000 MGP off of this if you can match up 1, 2, and 3. Still not guaranteed, but you can make up to 30,000 MGP if you do this in a day. The last one is the game you have the most control over, but might cost you some gill to complete. This would be the Fashion Report. Now, participating in the Fashion Report nets 10,000 MGP regardless of your score. If you get a score of 80 or above, you will get 50,000 MGP on top of this. That's right. That's one-fourth the cost of a flying car. The downside is this one also only runs once a week. Each week runs with a theme, and if you get it right, you can get a high score. The downside to this is that sometimes you need to be the right class and level in order to equip the right items. Still, if you have nothing and you don't want to spend anything, the lowest you'll get is 10,000, and that's nothing to sneeze at. On top of this, if you complete your challenge log for whatever games you're playing in the Gold Saucer, you'll get additional MGP. Overall, this is just a guide. You can follow whatever you want in order to make the MGP and take as much time as you want. I love going to the Gold Saucer, and it's always fun to play some of the games they have there, especially with friends. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the section below. We would hope that you would like, subscribe, and even click the bell if you want to hear more. And as always, thanks for staying a while to listen.